Despite all the warnings from officials pleading with Americans to stay home, travel over Thanksgiving is expected to hit a pandemic peak. Joining me now is Axel Heffer, CEO of Trivago. Axel, it's always good to see you. Um, curious what you are seeing right now on your platform in terms of demand for air travel and hotels. We do see um, quite a bit of activity in the U.S., um, for sure nothing close to uh, normal levels, but um, there is some traveling going on despite the surge in new infections. How does this compare to this time last year? It's significantly down, that's for sure. And um, I mean, they, I guess there is some travel that we don't see on our platform, which is really when you visit your family and you stay at their place. Um, in terms of booking accommodation, there, as I said, there there is some activity, but it's significantly down to last year, but still um, a lot higher than what you right now see in Europe, where um, lockdowns have been imposed uh, pretty much in all the main markets. Yeah, I was wondering where you're seeing the demand that you are seeing and the interest in travel that you are seeing. Where are you seeing it come from? Is it from Europe? Is it from the U.S.? And when people are searching and booking, where are they going? Yeah, it's it's, it's predominantly um, national. So it's it's domestic. It's um, it's relatively speaking short distances compared to a normal market. So there is pretty much no international travel, um, no intercontinental travel. Um, and there has been a significant shift towards um, driving versus air travel. Um, but uh, but there, the U.S. obviously is slightly different than um, than what you've seen, that what you can see in Europe. Um, and um, um, uh, because the distances are just much greater. Right. You see all the positive news that we're getting out of these um, biotech and pharma companies about a possible vaccine and the hope, of course, that this will help our economies reopen that much more quickly. A couple of weeks ago, when you released earnings, you were hopeful that we could see a rebound in travel by mid-2021. Are you still sticking to that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think what 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 uh, what we can expect is that things might even get a bit worse um, compared to where we are right now, um, and that um, that when we're heading into next year, um, we do expect a strong demand for travel um, because you know it will be a long winter and we will will have been at home for quite some time. Um, and the key question is actually at w when the summer will start. Will it really start in in spring or will it start uh, start a bit later? I, I have to say, you're being upstaged by your son right now. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yeah. <laughs> he wants to talk to us about travel. Um, so what about um, where you see the, the recovery happening first, if you will? Where do you think we're going to start to see that? Are people going to go back to the air quicker? Are they going to perhaps go on a cruise before they might take to the air? Where do you see that recovery coming from? So there, I think the last summer has given us very, very interesting data points. I mean, the very, very first trips that that have started were friends and family. Um, a lot of people are stuck in uh, in other countries and other parts of the country and haven't seen their family for a very long time. I mean, including a lot of our employees, to be honest. Um, and that that is what really everybody has on top of um, um, her or his mind. Um, the the second second segment that uh, has come back very strongly is is really local domestic um, leisure uh, travel, where um, predominantly the coasts and the mountains for relaxation vacations um, have picked up very very quickly. And I think that the next one this summer will be a diff bit different than last last year. I do think there will be more air travel, given that we see progress um, on the uh, vaccine side. We do see a lot of progress on the testing side. So tests are getting much, much quicker and much, much cheaper, uh, which I think is currently perhaps still a bit underappreciated. Um, but uh, for next summer, I do expect a significant improvement there. Do you think that business travel will be the last kind of travel to rebound? And I'd even question whether or not we ever get back to pre-pandemic levels with so much of the world now understanding that they can do so much more than they ever thought they could remotely. I, I think that is absolutely true. That is a key change to the last couple of crises. And we've all been through this. OK, yeah, business travel will come back and it has always come back. I think this time the, the key difference is that we, and as, as business, have accepted that you don't need to be in the same room to have a productive meeting. And this insight is actually translating into a structurally lower demand for business travel, both inter-company, 
you just don't need to meet and come together as often, but also in interacting with other companies. And, um, you know, when, when, whenever this is over, we will have practice for more than one year to interact um, across very, very uh, big distances. So we do expect a structural reduction of the business travel market. The remaining market um, should follow a similar pattern that we've seen in, in crises before. All right. Well, our thanks to you, the CEO of Trivago, Axel Heffer. Our thanks to your son for the cameo. I think he all gave us a smile. Enjoy the holiday with your family. Thank you.